Hello, everybody. It's Lee Blickley from HuffPost, and today I will be joined by actress Odea Rush, who's here to talk about her new movie, Dear Dictator, uh, co-starring the incredible Michael Caine. Um, this movie is about a teen who becomes pen pals with a, a dictator from an island nation, um, and they soon, uh, he soon seeks refuge at her house in suburban America after he flees his country. So you guys can kind of imagine what happens, but let's take a look at the trailer to get more. Sophomores, the assignment was to write to a role model, someone you admire. Miss Miles, care to tell us who you wrote to? Anton Vincent. The dictator. You found evidence on their computers, yes? They do not have computers. Then, then how did you know they were traitors? You, you said they were, sir. Fire! I admire his style. Dear Tatiana, your letters have been a welcome respite from my struggles. There is a rebel faction that wants to behead me. There is no one I can trust. Oh, I can totally relate. My mom is having an affair with her creepy boss. My school is ruled by some mean girls that call themselves slushies. And the guy I'm into is a Jesus freak. I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. Sometimes I feel like you're the only one who gets me. Communist dictator Anton Vincent has been ousted and still unaccounted for. It's you. You're smaller than I imagined. And you're older. I'm going to remain here. Fine, but you need a disguise. <laughs> this is me. Please don't be mad. I was going to tell you. Not a creepy child molester. He's a dictator. He is a political refugee. Completely harmless. He's a horrible person. Anton, no! My social studies teacher! Are you milk-boarding him? Oh, I'm sorry, I've got the wrong man. You have power, but you don't know how to wield it. It's easy for you to say. The rebel never accepts. The rebel charges. When the moment is right, disrupt the slushy's power with decisive action. Uh, whale tails are the opiates of the masses! You must have the courage to do what you believe in, even if it hurts the ones that you love. Exit the house with your hands raised. I'm proud of you. Why? You became a rebel. Well, how much fun does that look? Let's welcome Odea Rush, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, that, that trailer looks like a blast. I was able to see the movie, and it surely is a blast. What was it like for you to film it, though? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was, um, this character is so cool. The script is so different. Um, it was a really small budget and indie movie, small crew. It was a lot of fun to make and it turned out pretty good, yeah. I guess. So yeah, talk about your character, Tatiana, and what kind of teen she is in this movie. Um, she's definitely rebellious. She, uh, she just wants to do everything that's the opposite of what the popular girls are doing. So for this assignment in school, a lot of people chose, you know, Ellen DeGeneres to write to, or I'm trying to, why Ellen's the only person who came to mind? Uh, Maybe Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ellen, Oprah, um, Obama, like, you know, cool people to write to. And then uh, she chose a dictator. So um, she just wants to bend the rules and um, get people angry, I guess. Yeah. She enjoys that. Well, talk about the dictator who is played by Michael Caine. Uh, what kind of relationship did you guys have or did you form for this movie to play these pen pals who have a, a sort of special relationship? Um, what relationship? I mean, I, you know, we just, we had a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm. um, he's so professional and he doesn't really need you know, too many takes. I feel like he just came in. Because we were filming for a month, and then we had been filming, I think, for three weeks, and then he came the last two weeks or something like that. So he just came in and nailed it, and I had no idea what it was going to be like. I had shot all the scenes without him first. Um, and he was amazing to work with. Yeah. I mean, the cast is amazing. You got to work with uh, Katie Holmes again, who you worked with on The Giver, uh, who plays your mom. Um, a different kind of role for Katie Holmes, because she's kind of... Uh, I wouldn't call her crazy, but she's, you know, she's a single mom trying to balance her life as, you know, a, a dentist assist assistant who's in, kind of in love with him um, and you as, a, you know, a single parent. Um, what was that dynamic like, like working with Katie again and getting into that mom-daughter duo role? 
Um, it was a lot different. On The Giver, I think I was a lot younger, and we didn't have a lot of scenes together, but I remember us going out to dinner and her really taking care of me. And then in this, I am so mean to her. <laughs> and it just is, it was so different. I was older. I had to be really tough with her. Mm -hmm. She, I mean, she has a scene here. Um, I don't even want to, I mean, it's so funny and it's so, I, I wasn't there. I think that was the first scene she had to shoot. It's one of the first scenes in the movie. It has to do with feet, just saying that. It's, it's like, it's, I mean, it's the co kind of comedy I like is really out there, but um, yeah, she nailed it. Yeah, what was it like being a part of like a satirical comedy? Um, when you read the script, did you know you wanted to do it right away because of that aspect of maybe doing something a little different than you've done in the past? Yeah, for sure. I think the script was amazing. I think uh, comedy is my favorite genre to watch and probably to make too. I mean, you're just, you're having, being on a set, you just make jokes all day. Even if it's a drama, you just get to know the crew and everyone usually has a good sense of humor and a good bond. And then this is, as you're working, you get to, uh, I got to do physical comedy. I got to improv. Um, the people I was working with were really funny. The crew, like I said, so it's, it's really, it's a dream. It's your entire day is just being silly and having fun. Yeah. Well, there's a, you know, a, a ton of scenes where you have these boots on that trip you up and you fall. How many times did you have to like fall on set to shoot this? Uh, I <laughs> fell a lot. I was bad at fake falling. Um, I got told. So um, I had to do it a lot of times and they barely <laughs> used it. So that was fun. A few times. Yeah. Um, and then of course, in a comedy with Jason Biggs and Seth Green, uh, what was that like? Did you guys talk about, you know, uh, careers and, and, you know, did they give you any advice about being in a comedy? Um, we talked a lot about Pokemon Go, <laughs> which was big at the time. We were staying at a hotel that had a lot of good, rare Pokemons, mm -hmm. and um, Seth Green gave me some good advice about that. I'm like, which, which Pokemons were there? Which rare Pokemon? Um, I think at that point, I was doing really well. I'd already got Pikachu. Mm -hmm. I'd already gone... Um, <laughs> I think I, w I was pretty good, but I think he just told me, you know, go down to, because usually the good Pokemons were either in a park or like an area by water, yeah. which is where we were. So he just told me, you know, if you have free time, you're going to catch so many. <laughs> Got to catch, catch them, them all. all. Catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Did you guys shoot in Georgia? Yeah, in Savannah, Georgia. Um, so how long was the shoot and what was it like down there, um, you know, shooting this and being with that cast and crew? It was a short pretty short yeah. shoot it was four weeks and yeah it was quick especially for something like this um it was a lot of fun yeah it was cool uh have you been back to georgia for any other movies or shoots yeah i just i mean i think atlanta has a good tax incentive so you shoot there i've shot there more than anywhere uh, i just shot in atlanta That's awesome. yeah um, so what about comedy now? Are you kind of bitten by the comedy bug? Or do you, you know, when you go about reading scripts or choosing projects, um, what's the thing you think about most? Is it is it more about, you know, challenging yourself and picking different types of roles in movies? I think it's both. I mean, there are certain things you, you look at and you think, wow, I get to be, you know, in a really fun location and I have great co-stars, but maybe the, the role isn't so good. Um, my favorite comedies are ones that take risks and are really, like Borat is one of my favorite comedies. Um, and I love like all Seth Rogen, super bad, knocked, I mean, I love Judd Apatow. Like, you, I think comedies that have a good story either with characters or they just take a lot of risks, yeah. those are the comedies I wanna be a part of. Yeah, are there any examples of comedic actresses who you look up to, you know, in taking on a role like this? Um, I mean, Melissa McCarthy can do physical c comedy amazingly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's really, you know, she just lets go. And um, I think it's all about being in the moment. And also, I think the best comedy is when it's, it's real and it's dry mm -hmm. and it's not too over the top. Um, so Kristen Wiig, I mean, Kristen Wiig does everything, but she's someone I really look up to as well. And how did you get into the mindset of Tatiana? Are you like her at all, or did you kind of have to do, you know, a little bit of research? It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, just like you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what was the question? Did I, yeah, how did I get into How did you character? prepare to play Tatiana? I uh, worked with an acting coach, mm -hmm. and we did some exercises, like, uh, you know, writing down um, in a journal about, because she has a, 
you know, kind of a dark past with her father and um, just trying to really nail this girl because she's so unique. And um, I think I just channeled that crazy side of me. I think you just, it's, it's, it all has to be you. I think every human being has so many different sides to them. So it's about just finding that part of you that resonates with this character, the, you know, bringing out the part of you that she has that is so forward and her bringing that part of you more forward. Yeah. Um, did you know you always wanted uh, to act? Was that something that you, you know, grew up w dreaming about doing? I know you're a model as well. Um, but have you always really, did you know this is what you wanted to do? Um, I really like writing and directing. I really uh, grow, I have a lot of brothers. And when they were younger, um, when they let me dress them up, now they're too old. Um, <laughs> I would make them uh, uh uh, do plays with me and movies on iMovie and things like that. So, um, I yeah, I, I, I kind of knew I wanted to be in, in this business, in this industry from a young age. And um, I feel like acting is something I, I, I liked and I, it, it started going really well and now I really love. But I, I would love to do other things as well. Can you recall uh, like your first experience on set and what that felt like as a young actress? Um, the first thing I did was Curb Your Enthusiasm, so cool. which was, yeah, it was all improv, and, um, that was, that was, that was crazy, that was really cool, um, I just remember when I, I didn't know what it was, and I remember auditioning for it, and they just give you kind of a strip of paper, and it said, uh, pretend you're playing strip poker, and, um, I was 13, <laughs> and <laughs> my dad was downstairs, and I was like, oh, what's it's your poker. Uh, but it said I was winning the whole time, so it was okay. I was not exploited as a child, <laughs> so that was good. Um, and I got a good experience. Yeah, yeah but the other kid was. No. But then you did <laughs> Law and Order as well. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Like, like, being back in New York is probably I'm, cool, I used right? to live in Jersey, so oh, cool. I think as an actor, you have to do Law and Order. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess there's also Blue Bloods, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, shout out to Blue Bloods. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what other... Yeah, you. I think you... Um, you're gonna either audition a bunch of times for SVU or do one. So that that was really cool because I also watched it. Mm -hmm. um, that was crazy. And then uh, I remember them announcing it at my school. That's so in the cool. yeah, it was cool. Got made fun of. Runs are on all the time. I'm <laughs> yeah. sure you're on TV all the time. Yeah, getting those residuals. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your uh, you know what was your first big uh, film role where you knew, oh ma man, maybe this will happen for me. Like this is super exciting. You. This was the best thing that happened. I think um, one of the movies I did, they they were like, okay, be ready. You're not going to be able to go to the mall. These are whatever, all this stuff. And I remember it coming out. And, okay. And it didn't do well, which was great because I think every movie I'm on, I'm like, no one's going to see this. You never know. You know, and then actually Lady Bird did super well. And I didn't put any expectations on that so I think with every set that I'm on I'm like who knows yeah. you know you just you can't you can't think that way I feel like yeah. you just end up getting disappointed I also don't think that's important but yeah no. mm -hmm. well you mentioned Lady Bird uh <laughs> were you at Oscars weekend I think I saw you at the Vanity Fair did you go to the Vanity Fair party I went to that party yeah was what was cool. the experience like to be like um, at Oscars weekend. It's weird. Yeah. You see so many celebrities. I saw Kobe holding an Oscar. So crazy. Um, I did see Sasha Baron Cohen. Mm -hmm. um, I did. I just. I saw. I saw so many people. I saw Kendall Jenner. I saw. Um, who else did I see? Uh, those are the top three in my head right now. What was but your yeah, it's crazy. It's weird. You just kind of sit there and and everyone's just mingling and it's weird and you feel like you shouldn't be there. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, talk about being a part of Lady Bird. Like you said, you had no idea that it was gonna take off in that way. But when you were on set, did you you know, feel the impact of having Greta Gerwig uh, direct a movie written by herself, um, you know, hanging out with Sarah Sharonin and, and Beanie Feldstein? What was that like? Um, they're the best people, honestly. Sarah just makes the set so amazing she's just such a lovely human being and so is Greta and um that set was one of the smoothest sets I've ever been on it was so Greta was so prepared um every day I feel like we finished on time and no one was really stressed there were a lot of women on set uh 
every scene, most of my scenes were with Sergio, who's just so lovely. So um, it was in LA, which is where I live. So it was a dream, honestly, to work on. Yeah. Yeah. And what, is, what does it feel like to know that you're a part of an Oscar nominated movie? Uh, did you ever expect that it would make its way all the way to the Oscars? Uh, no, I don't think I, I think I kind of forgot about it after I did it. And then it kept getting, like, I watched it and I thought, wow, th I really like it. This is a movie I like. And a lot of times the movies I like do well in the indie world, but uh, not a lot of people see it. So when so many people saw it, it was just, I feel so lucky to, to be any part in this, you know, mm -hmm. to have any part in this, yeah. And did you talk to, you know, Sarah Shah at all about kind of navigating, you know, being a, a young woman in the industry, and, and she's been nominated now for three Oscars. Right. Um, did you guys ever talk about that? Um, I think whenever we see each other, we're like, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Um, yeah, she's someone who's such a great example. She chooses um, great roles. I feel like her career is, I think she's the next Meryl Streep. I think she's just you know, every role is so versatile. And also she lives in Ireland and she grew up there. So she doesn't have kind of an actor. If you, maybe not in New York, but if you go to LA, there's a lot of people with an, like always on and such an actor personality. And she doesn't, she doesn't uh, live her life that way at all. And um, so I think it's important. I like that I grew up in Israel and Jersey. And um, I think it's really important to just be around people who are not in the industry all the time. People who have known you since you're younger or friends. Who don't care what you do. Yeah. Exactly. Because um, it must feel, you know, going from Lady Bird and some of your other movies, you were a big role in The Giver, you were in Goosebumps. Um, but what does it feel like to be a, a leading lady in a movie like Dear Dictator? Does that feel, like, good or does it make you even more nervous? Or It makes me nervous. I, um, It's weird watching it because usually when I watch, I'm like, and then, you know, when it's parts that I'm not in, but this is hard not to, <laughs> you could, um, but it's really cool. I'm next to Michael Caine. That looks so cool. Um, no, it's, it's really awesome. I'm lucky, mm -hmm. for sure. And who are some, you know, you get to work with Michael Caine, like I said, Katie Holmes, you've worked with Meryl and, and The Giver. Um, who are some other actors or actresses that you would love to work with, or directors? Um... Uh, who do I want to, I mean, probably, yeah, probably Seth Rogen, mm -hmm. you know, that whole crew, I feel like that would be a really fun thing to be a part of. Um, I want to work with, um, you know, I kind of want to do a movie in Israel. I would love to do something like that. Um, I would love to work with, I mean, there are so many people uh, that I'm not thinking of right now. Probably Greta again, Sersha again, Beanie Oprah. again. Oprah. <laughs> Oprah, I'd love to do a movie with Oprah or, you know, anything that she needs on her network or magazine <laughs> or, you know, let me know. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you mentioned before that, you know, you love acting and, and you, you're enjoying it, but you would like to do other things as well. Um, what are the, some of those other things? You mentioned that you'd like to write and direct. Um, but are there, is there something totally out of Hollywood that you would love to do or try or? Um, maybe, um, you know, I'm really getting into meditation and I feel like if there's, uh, a way for me to, which I'm trying to get into this, but to help put it into, uh, the public school system, mm -hmm. because I think a lot of times we learn about, um, Fraction, I mean, fractions are important. I'm trying to think, you know, there's a lot of things we learn in school that I remember learning that, I mean, that I already forgot. And I feel like a lot of times we don't learn about loving ourselves or taking time for ourselves. And um, if there's a way that I, like, if I could be a teacher, that's what I would do. I would do, make that an extracurricular activity of just, you know, knowing how to calm yourself down and knowing how to speak nicely to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like that's, that'll help kids in the future just as much as knowing about math and English. Yeah. yeah, do you use those lessons yourself, you know, being in an industry uh, where, you know, you could look at yourself in the mirror and you're all dolled up and then the next day you're not. Do you kind of use meditation to ease that, that pressure a little bit? Yeah, you have to. I think you have to. Um, you'll hear so many different voices, and I think I'm young, and sometimes I feel like I haven't fully found my voice. I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes you can get confused, so it's important to just try to be nice to yourself and, um, 
and just try to connect with the most honest part of you and the best part of you. Yeah, I love that. Uh, well, I do want to open it up to some audience questions if you're game. Yeah. Um, who's first? Hi. Um, Hi. So in the movie, your character writes a letter to who inspires her. Who would you write a letter to? Um, should have thought of this. I feel like, uh, uh, um, who would I write a letter to? Uh, I mean, Greta, I've, I know I worked with her, but she's just such a lovely human being, and she's inspired me for so long, you know, being a writer and director, um, so I feel like I would write to her, you know, the next time I direct something and just ask her for advice and just um, tell her she's lovely and thank you for everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, were there, are there any other genres you'll want to tap into next since you've done drama and comedy? If there is something like Get Out, you know, <laughs> I would love to do something like that. I think uh, Jordan Peele killed it with mixing so many different genres. Um, so I think I love thrillers, and um, but I, I think it's it's great that he made it a human story and he also made it funny. So if there's something like that, I would love to do that. Yeah, like yeah. a horror comedy. Yeah. Have you been in a horror movie yet? Uh, that might be interesting. Um. I guess Goosebumps, yeah. kind of. That's yeah. kind of a hard comedy. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because I always wonder what it's like to act scared when maybe it's oh, not it's so scary. On set. It's a lot of like, <laughs> and you just so like, you can get a headache, and yeah. but it's so so great, <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Jackpot. All right, we have time for one more, I think. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Well, you worked with some really big actors. Has there been anything that you've learned from them, maybe that they told you or that you've just seen from working with them? Um, Jeff Bridges told me uh, to not take life too seriously, to make sure to have fun. So I think sometimes when you're on a set, it's like if, if you know someone's waiting for the wake, they're like, "Where's the wake?" <laughs> like you're gonna die, and it's yeah. it's okay. We're making a movie. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. It's yeah. You have to realize where you are, what you're doing. You know. So just yeah, make sure to have fun and not take it too seriously. Did you get any advice from Meryl? No. Oh man, <laughs> gotta work with her again and get I all the. Gotta ask and her and share it with us. Thing. Yeah, I guess just watching her. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Dear Dictator, I think it's out March 16th. Um, thank you so much for being here, and we've so loved having you here, and good luck with the movie. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah.